Have you ever exported your video and something's off? It's either blurry, it's too pixelated, the audio syncs off, or it just has a render fail and doesn't even export. In this video, I'm gonna share the absolute sauce, the best way to export out of Premiere Pro 2022. I'm gonna share two different methods that I use. One that's high quality, but really good for like social media stuff. And then another method that's the absolute highest quality video you can get. That's really good to send to clients or upload to YouTube or Vimeo. Let's hop into Premiere Pro and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So in Premiere Pro, I have a simple video layer. You can see this is the same clip, just cut three separate times. Just has a color grade on it, nothing too crazy. The first thing I like to do before I even go to export is make sure our sequence settings are in check. For our example, we have 60 frames per second footage, but we actually don't want the timeline to be 60 frames per second. To get the most cinematic and best looking footage, you're gonna either wanna use 23.976 or 24 frames per second. You can change that and you'll still get all the benefits of the high frame rate of the footage, but the timeline will look way more cinematic. So in Premiere Pro 2022, there is a new way to export. You can go up here to the top left. It'll say import, edit, and export. You can click export. If you're running on a slightly older version of Premiere Pro, just go to file and go to export media and it'll bring you to that same window as if you went to click export up here so let's start off with the absolute highest quality export you can get to do that go under format and navigate to quicktime open up the video layer and make sure the video codec says apple prores 422 under the basic video settings, if you had the sequence the way you wanted it, everything should be perfect. But if you need to change the frame rate or the frame size, you can uncheck this box and then change it to the value you want. Like I said, you almost always want to export at 24 frames per second and then at the highest quality frame size you can. For us, it's 1080p, but if you have 4K footage, use that. If you have 8K footage, use 8K. Then under more, you can select that. Make sure render at maximum depth is selected. Go to depth and turn that to 16 bit. That's going to add more depth to the color and make the overall image look a lot better. Make sure use maximum render quality is checked. Under audio, I just leave it at 48 hertz and sample size 16 bits. And then everything else I leave alone. Then make sure to change your file name. I'm going to change it to export and save it in the location you want. I have an export folder here and you can change the name here as well. And then just click save. If you want to export using only Premiere Pro, you can click export and it will start your export. And that's how you do it. I like to send my footage to media encoder. I found that the exports crash less. And if you want to, you can actually pause and play the render while it's going. So if you have to do something on your computer while you're rendering, you can pause it real quick, do something on your computer and then continue the render later. So to do that, just click send a media encoder. Make sure that you have Adobe media encoder installed. If you don't have media encoder, it's really not that big of a deal. It's not going to change the quality of your export. It's just going to make the renders less likely to crash. And it gives that nice option of being able to pause and play the render. So then you can find your project. And then in the top right, you can click this green play button and then it's going to start rendering down here. Like I said, you can click pause to pause the render. It's going to stop and then it's not going to be intensive on your computer. Once it's rendered out, if you want to find your file in that location, just click this link right here and it's going to open it up on your computer. And now you can see we have our footage exported at the absolute highest quality you can. So back in Premiere Pro, I just want to show one other option. This option is for really high quality video, but it's just not lossless like 422 is. I think it's really good for like social media, like Instagram or TikTok. Honestly, you can get away with it for YouTube and Vimeo if you don't really care too much about the perfect quality. With the settings I'm going to be giving you, it's very hard to even tell the difference between the two. Like I said, if you want the absolute highest quality, use that first version. If you don't care, about like a little 1% change, I would suggest this. It's a lot smaller too. And then instead of QuickTime under format, use H.264. If you want to use one of the presets, adaptive high bit rate's already pretty good, but let's go through and make sure the settings are perfect. Again, you can change the frame size, frame rate. We can leave that alone. Check render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality. And then under bit rate settings, I just drag that up pretty much to the max. If you have higher quality footage, it'll allow you to go higher. Most of the time, I'll leave it at 100 if I'm exporting 4K footage and it looks really good. And then for bitrate encoding, a lot of people say to use VBR 2 pass or CBR. Honestly, one pass for me has always worked good. It's way quicker on the export and I think it looks almost exactly the same. We're going to leave the audio settings the same. And then just like last time, you have the option to send a media encoder to export or just export through Premiere Pro. I'll give you an example of what it looks like when you export through Premiere Pro only. So if you click export, it'll have this window pop up and then it will render your project. After that, you'll have a box down in the bottom right and it will give you the event that it was exported properly. And then here is our second export. Between these two clips, I can barely tell a difference. The colors seem a little bit more rich in that quick time export, but by the time you upload it to YouTube and Vimeo and they have those compression systems already on there, it's gonna look about the same. And that is how to export in Premiere Pro 2022 with the absolute best settings. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to do that. I'm uploading every single day and I upload tutorials on Adobe Premiere Pro and after effects. Also, if you want the best editing packs and presets, I'll have my website linked down below. Great way to support the channel and also get your hands on some sauce. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys in this one. Peace.